Hi, uh, this video is well late because, you know, I hadn't done any videos for a few weeks. So anyway, I was just going to post my end of year boxing awards for two 2012 um, below this video. So if you want to see who I thought won, you know, the Fighter of the Year awards and things like that, you can do so by reading my blog, which I'm going to post below. I've already posted it on Facebook and Twitter and forums and things like that. So if you want to read it, let me know what you thought of my choices. I was just going to mention a few very quickly. So, for example, I had uh, Nonito Donaire as Fighter of the Year. I think that's quite self-explanatory because, you know, he had four really big wins. His win over somebody like Toshiaki Nishioka was one of the biggest wins of the year. So, um, you know, I think that's easy to explain. Fight of the Year I gave to Juan Manuel Marquez versus Manny Pacquiao. I explained why, you know, it was the biggest event, it had the biggest shocking ending, and it had about two really, you know, fight of the year, uh, round of the year contenders. So I gave that there. You can read all of the explanation on the article because it's really long. Round of the year I gave to round five of Brian Valoria versus Hernan Marquez. If you haven't seen it, you should, because you'll probably agree. Knockout of the year was obviously Marquez over Pacquiao, and um, upset of the year I also gave to Marquez Pacquiao, and I've explained why. And prospect of the year I gave to Cole Frampton, which I gave a long explanation as to why I came to that. But there's loads of other um, awards, you know, which I wrote in. I had like shock of the year and um, loads of other things. So if you want to take a look at that, uh, that'll be cool. And if you want to leave some. Um, comments below this video, feel free to do so. Alright.